Now, my experience abroad, I've touched briefly on my experience in St. Peter's uh, Basilica and the Colosseum. Um, first impressions, as the saying goes, first impress impressions are really lasting impressions because when I arrived, it was almost dark. It was almost dark in Rome, so I flew in. Uh, I flew out of uh, LAX and then had a layover in Frankfurt. And from Frankfurt, we went to Fiumicino Airport in Rome. So the airport, I did, it, was at, it was the outside of the city, so I kind of got worried. I'm like, okay, well, there's not a lot of historic buildings here. Like, what's going on? Okay, this is Rome. Like, did I make the right choice? Where is everything? But duh, airports are on the outside of cities. <laughs> so the next morning, again, I, I went to my house. It's half an hour from the city center, a uh, suburb of Rome. And I'm never going to forget, I rode the bus and we went over the Tiber River, and I saw the Theater Marcellus, which is almost like the, the Colosseum. That was the first thing I saw. And then I saw the Roman Forum, and this is early in the morning. So just picture the sun coming up, my first day of class, because I, I got there the day before class. And I was, a, I was, like I said, I was a history major, and a tear, yes, a tear rolled down my cheek. I was so excited, I could not believe it. Here I am, the Roman Forum, like just drive, this is my way to school every day. Every day, my way to school, every single day. Like, all right, just breathe through your nose, just breathe out through your mouth, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. So, okay, here we are, you did it. And my classroom, the UC Center in Rome, ended up being next to the Pantheon. <laughs> and next to the UC Center in Rome was um, the Church Santa Maria Sopra Minerva, which is the tomb, the resting, final resting place of Catherine of Siena. So if any of you grew up Catholic and you grew up seeing the, sa the saints on the stained glass windows, Catherine of Siena takes all of the stained glass space. She takes all of it. So she was right next to me. Her, her rest, final resting place was right next to my school. And I'd go and I'd have lunch on the steps of the Pantheon. That was just an everyday thing. It was absolutely extraordinary. And like I said, every day I was, it was that excitement every day of being there.